Hey guys, it's Ty again, and today I specifically want to talk to any type of, any person who's who needs leads, any business whose primary focus is getting leads or getting prospects. I want to talk to you today about a few sample routines that will help make the difference in your business, okay? But whatever, before I get into that, whatever routine that you use, use it every day. Be consistent. The number one thing that you can do as a network marketer, as um, a real estate agent, as anyone who's trying to get ahead in their business, especially when it comes to networking, be consistent. Whatever it is you're going to do, make up your mind what you're going to do and be consistent. I can't say it enough because there's so many distractions um, throughout the day, um, but don't get distracted by the little things. Um, just be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. Okay, so let's get into a sample part-time routine so let's say you need to ask at least two to five people's two to five people a day um, if they're open to making extra income or better yet a minimum of two to five people seeing whatever it is your opportunity is or your your biz op as we call it or whatever it is you're selling uh, whatever it is you're marketing make sure that they see your opportunity at least two to five people minimum a day on a part-time basis if you have a full-time business whether it's uh, you're working 40 hours a week you can still do two to five people a day okay create one piece of content whether it's a uh, Facebook uh, whether it's YouTube whether it's a blog whether it's an email create that piece of content and send it to your potential leads every day all right spend about 30 minutes on your marketing plan if you don't have a marketing plan <laughs> you're planning to fail um, it can be as simple as just a, a notepad with a few bullets on exactly how it is you plan to get your opportunity out to as many people as possible and just be consistent and just do that okay spend about 30 minutes working on your closing how to close prospects um, or your leads one thing you don't want to do is when you meet somebody especially when you don't know don't offer <laughs> don't tell them about your your business yeah I know you want to get to the people as soon as possible but you have to remember to build the relationship first so when you're meeting somebody new you know talk to them hey how you doing find something that um, you can compliment them on to start a conversation um, find something that you may have in common hey you have nice shoes I like those where'd you get those you know have them talk the less talking you do, the better. The more talking they do, the better, because they feel more comfortable with you initially. Uh, once you get them talk, talking, establish a break in the communication. You know, hey, how you doing? You know, how's your day? How's the kids? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? I really like the friends conversation, but I'm on my way to do something. You know, can I get your information? We can pick this up later. That's fine. Your main goal for prospecting people that you don't know is to get their information and follow up. That's all you got to do. Get the information and follow up. Another quick thing is, another thing that you need to do in a sample routine is spend about 10 to 20 minutes on your mindset training. This is really important, guys. You have to see yourself where you want to be. Okay? This industry, our industry, business itself is a process. You cannot avoid the process. I don't care if you're in your new um, MLM or network marketing business and in four months you get to the top of the company. Well, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a slowdown process, a slowdown time, a time when slow. Because in business, there rises and falls. But for sure, there's going to be a process that you have to go through. And the more prepared you are, the more training you get, the more that you prepare your mind, the more you're going to be ready to meet those challenges. Okay, so let's move on to a sample full time routine. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick this up. Okay, now this full time, if you have the time, this full time uh, sample routine that I'm going to give you can still be done if you have a forty, a forty hour, um, a forty hour you know work week. <clears throat> You can still do this. Just got to break it up. Whether it's late at night, you know, spend a little extra time staying up later. Yeah, you'll be sleepy, but it's worth it. You got to remember, this is a process. So you have to do the things now that other people want to get what you want later that other people will never have. You have to put the work in. You got to be consistent, 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 consistent. So here are some of the things you can do, okay? So instead of asking two to five people um, or showing two to five people your opportunity, show five to 30 people your opportunity. Okay, I know it's more, but you can do it. Uh, take your Sunday evenings and plan out what you're going to do for the week. Write down all your prospects. Um, 
spend more time prospecting on Facebook. And I use Facebook um, a lot in my videos because it's one of the tools that I personally use. Um, I'm getting great results, but you know what? It's because I'm building those relationships first. And what happens is after you build the relationships and not throwing your opportunity down their throat, people want to know what it is you're doing. They're more likely to get into your primary business or to buy something that you're selling them if they feel like they can trust you because people have to trust you first. Um, people accept you or buy into you way before they're ever buy into what it is you're presenting, you're marketing, you're selling. Okay, so five to 30 people a day that you're trying to get your opportunity to. Instead of creating one piece of content, create two, two or more. The more you do, the better. Get it out there, be consistent, get it out there, okay? Spend 30 to 60 minutes a day on your mindset training, spend 30 to 60 minutes on marketing plan or marketing, or how you're gonna get it out there, and 36 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes on sponsoring people, okay? Now, of course, because you're building the relationships, you can't actually close them or sponsor them. But what you can do is what happens is you're doing the work up front. So you're building these relationships and as you go along, you're following up. And as you follow up, you get to you get to learn more about these people, what it is they need. And then you can figure out if what it is that you're marketing will actually solve one of their problems. And if it does, then you can offer it to them. And that's where you go to your close and that's where you get to your sponsor. So these have been some quick um, some quick tips on uh, sample, you know, part-time routine or full-time routine just to help you get better results in your business. Okay. So again, be consistent. 80 to 90 percent of your time should be spent on money making activities. Okay. Um, and stop getting distracted by the little things. Um, yeah, you're going to lose some, you're going to lose some sleep. <laughs> you can't get it right around that. You're going to lose some sleep, but it's so worth it. Remember, this is not a get rich, get rich, quick scheme or business. This is about putting and doing the work up front. This is about helping other people. This is about bringing more value to the market, okay? And in doing that, the more people you help, put it, look at it this way, the more people you help, the faster you'll get to your goals. Because at least I know in my business, my particular um, biz op, it's all about helping people. You cannot get ahead unless you help other people, all right? So with that, this has just been more quick tips um, with Tyrell, and God bless.